What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to be doing some unveiling the truth spreads for all the signs. I'm on the sign of Pisces. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of the channel for more information on how to do that, as well as the description box below. So in this spread, it goes over basically what you see in a situation. Um, and then it goes over like lifting the veil, like what's actually there, like what's being blocked from something that you're not able to see. And then it goes over the truth and the reality of the situation. Um, when it comes to, you know, someone you're dealing with, it could be um, either a person, place, or a thing. You're going to have to kind of fill in the blanks about what that is for some of you guys. Um, yeah, there's definitely some things that you can't see here, Pisces. Um, it's about some type of plan. It's about some type of um, action. Maybe that's not being taken. I feel like... When it comes to you and this person, you guys genuinely think about each other equally when it comes to um, seeing something, you know, I feel like in this situation, one person's a little bit more logical than the other. Uh, one person likes to have all the facts together. The other person is more tangible, like what can I, what I'm holding in my hand, like what I can see. Um, that's more about where their value is at. Um, I see with the man holding a coin and the cornucopia, it's about kind of, um, working really hard to, um, kind of reap the benefits of the situation. But basically what they're saying is that there's more than one way to do this. There's more than one possibility. Um, <clears throat> there's more than one way to kind of not only heal on a personal level, but also find happiness in this situation. Uh, I feel like some of you guys are really questioning whether or not this person truly loves you or if, they're, if they want to move on or if they are moving on. But I feel like you help this person in such a way that they want you by their side. Um, they just need to maybe express to you how they truly feel about you because when it comes to their hearts, um, you hold it and they want to be able to take care of you um, financially and they think a lot about you if you guys are not speaking but I just feel like um, this person has some kind of idea but it's more of kind of getting it off the ground um, I do feel like there has been some cycles that have came to an end or there needs to be like what you guys see is someone who has of course, these cards. What you guys see is something that I feel like you think is something is over, something is ending. Um, I think that you feel like this person kind of um, plays too much, whether or not it's just to put on a show in front of other people, or maybe you just don't know how seriously they take the situation. Um, because whatever outcome you have in your mind about how this would play out isn't true. Um, some of you guys might have children together, but with the emperor, this talks about someone who's very, um, stuck in their way someone who, um, especially when it comes down to like communication and, um, you know, kind of manipulative to a point to kind of get things to go in their way. But I just feel like when it comes to whatever ways this person had about doing things, I feel like that's ending. Um, because they see you as this, the mother of their child, the mother of their children. Um, I feel like if there was ever any energy of kind of blocking things out, um, or maybe kind of blocking you out of their life, they've always thought about you as this solid person, this ride or die person in their life, or this is just a vision that they have. But there is a lot of fear surrounding um, being left um, being left alone or struggling for money. Um, this person, when they think about you, it's with a lot of um, kind of dreamy um, soulmate energy. And I think that um, the chariot card, some of you guys could be dealing with the cancer. 
but I just feel like if this person hasn't made a move towards you or if you didn't think things would kind of change in this certain scenario, I do see things changing, but the truth of the matter is, is that you guys are definitely soulmates. You guys are definitely um, maybe needing to um, protect your energy together, but also kind of looking at each other in a non-judgmental um, aspect. Because I feel like this person, whatever it is that they're kind of not opening up about or not talking to you, they feel like you're going to judge them about this. They feel like if they were to come towards you or if they were to tell you like everything they thought about and all their their, their dreams and stuff, like what they really want to do, they feel like maybe you wouldn't understand or you'd take it in the wrong way. Um, with the chariot and the lovers card, you know, and the emperor, it's just someone who's very closed off with their emotions, but I feel like there does need to be some balance with this. Um, with the lovers, this is a very um, divinely guided connection with you two, and it's almost like a routine, like it's so much a part of their life that they don't really know what to do without you in it. Like if they, they wouldn't, they don't really know what to do. So if you guys are in, some of you guys have Pisces in your chart, or this person have a Pisces moon, something along that line. But I just feel like maybe you feel like they're blocking you out and, you know, they're going to leave. But the reality of the situation is there's really no leaving this connection. You know, um, there's also, you know, I feel like um, some energy of not knowing if this person can give you the same that you give them. But I feel like they definitely want things to be even. They definitely feel like... Um, they want to give you just as much as you give them. And um, I think that some of you guys, this is a different group of you. Um, we're dealing with a situation where things kind of ended abruptly. I think that someone had to come to grips with per certain parts of their personality where they weren't so forthcoming, maybe not so honest when it comes to certain things. Um, maybe about how disconnected they've been from their emotions since they got their heart broken by um, someone else. But I do see a lot of energy of, you know, old wounds here for some of you guys. Um, and then this person kind of moving forward. I think that some of you guys want to have a new beginning with this certain person. But there's also energy of kind of figuring out... <clears throat> what exactly kind of type of situation that this is and if it will truly make you happy. Maybe there's a need for some of you guys to have some boundaries when it comes to um, a mother of a child for some of you. But then there's also this lingering energy from past heartbreak that kind of keeps this person from moving forward in new energy, which would be why they're not making the efforts. Um, I feel like maybe they're used to being in connections where it's been all about passion, where it's been all about sex. Um, maybe they're, that's what they're kind of used to. That's the kind of people that they're usually around. Um, but then there's this new energy. But I just think that they haven't really decided what it is that they want. Um, they haven't really taken their masks off and told you the truth about how they feel, um, what they want moving forward. I think that there's a need to release and heal the past, obviously, so that the new love can come in in a new energy because there's still someone who hasn't released a past ex situation where um, this person didn't love them in the same way that they love them. And this could be someone in their family or someone that they shared a home with. Um, I do feel like... There's a need for someone to um, clear their energy field, maybe learn from the past, because I just think that there, in order for this to be worked out in the right way, for this to be a true partnership, there needs to be old things let it, letting go of it. And that, you know, I think that this person definitely does want to work on this, but they're going to come in with this energy of, um, you know, laughing about things or maybe this person wants to take you out on a date or maybe just voicing that to this person. Um, some of you guys, I feel like this person is lying about something and the thing that they're lying about is the fact that they want to propose to you. Um, maybe that's why they're kind of pulled back. I feel like someone's very scared, um, of how happy this, this love makes them feel. Um, but there is a lot of energy of, this person wanting to be with you long term, this person wanting to make you their wife or their husband. Um, 
but trying to work around the edges of whatever else is kind of going on in this situation. There could have been a situation where maybe in the past they came off as really kind of evasive or avoiding or running away, but it was only because they needed to come to grips of like what the truth was. I do feel like there's definitely communication coming in for some of you guys. Or this person kind of needs a little bit of help when it comes to expressing their emotions. Some of you guys know how to communicate with other people very well. And you have a certain understanding of certain people and how they do things. And you're going to be able to pick up on whatever kind of energy this is. But I do feel like there are some old cycles that need to be cleared out here. But I feel like you guys are on the same page. It's just having this conversation. You know, this person's telling you how much that they care about you, what they really feel about you, how much they desire to kind of um, take care of you in a material and emotional way. And that there's more than one way to do this, that there's, there's five different love languages, you know, but along with that and then throwing everything else into the mix. I mean, some of you guys are already in a family situation and you're just not really sure like why there's been so much adversity or how much fighting there has been, but it has a lot to do with someone's unconscious mind, maybe some projection of old issues, um, an old partner, maybe needing to have a little bit more faith in this situation. Um, it's just kind of um, exploring each other's mindset and figuring out where you're at. And I feel like it's definitely on the same level, but there needs to be, um, you know, a little bit of work on communication here and realizing that not everyone wants to see you guys together for lack of better words. Um, there could be people around you who have been in the, in the, in the background and they've kind of prevented things from moving forward. Maybe someone that you work with or this person works with. I just feel like there's some feelings here that an outside person might have had for this person and so they're kind of throwing salt in the in the the wound a little bit you know throwing um kind of jealous energy um it even could be coming from someone's mother um that someone listens a little bit too much to what other people have to say and not kind of focusing on what this person has to say um but anyways that's all i have for you guys i hope you have a good night